Listen to my deep, sexy, I'm sick voice. Oh yeah. Hey, it's Chinbeard here, and if it sounds like I'm coming off of a plague, it's because I am. I got a super, super quick, super secret commission from Ryan Connolly over at Film Riot. Um, they had to rearrange some of their shooting schedules and wanted to do a new sort of short project while they had a bunch of people assemble. Um, so Ryan was like, hey Bill, can you build some things in like a couple days? And I was like, sure, why not? These are like futuristic ankle cuff things, right? Um, so, you know, they look all, all locked and stuff. They magnet together and they go on your ankle or on your wrist because you can't see my ankles. Anyway, so I'll tell you how I made them. The first thing I did was I drew up a sketch of the ankle thing, it got the sketch approved by Ryan, and then I laid it out flat on a design sort of uh, schematic so that I knew how big all the pieces need to be. Those uh, schematics got cut out, and then I used those as templates to cut out all of the foam pieces that I would need. These guys are made out of EVA foam floor mats. I took and cut out the main shapes of either side. I first measured them to make sure I knew that they would be big enough to fit around a human ankle, and then I uh, cut out the pieces. Uh, I was just using a normal knife, like this guy right here, to cut out the pieces. And for some of the angle cuts, I used my scroll saw, and then I cleaned up all of the angles and edges on my belt sander, which is hiding back there. The side pieces here, these guys are just thinner EVA foam. That's the craft foam you can get from a hardware store. And then these lower pieces down here are the even thinner craft foam at two millimeters. This stuff is six millimeters. Um, the sort of inlay parts here with the, the um, design is a little trick I learned from my friend Will Morgan over at WM Armory on Facebook link below. We'll put together a really good video on foam fabrication and uh, you can check that out here. And what he did was he scored the foam with a knife like I did and then hit it with a heat gun so that the pieces would separate a little bit and you get these really cool looking lines. All of the bigger foam pieces were put together using my favorite adhesive contact cement. You brush a little on either side, let it uh, dry a little bit, and when it's ready, you just stick the two pieces together, mash them down, and they are like that for good. The rest of the build went that way uh, for all three of the cups. Some of the smaller pieces and the thinner stuff just got super glued down. And then these screw pits here were just some uh, computer case screws that I glued in place. Nothing too complicated there. And then finally, I gave it a little bit of paint. I wanted these side bits to look all nice and homogenous, so they got a layer of black on the side. I went over the edges with some silver paint to make it look all nice and sort of weathered a little bit. Uh, and then finally, these pieces right here, these sort of light looking things, I painted the back of them with a little bit of silver rub and buff so that they stood out a little bit from the normal gray. And then I filled them in with a five minute epoxy and uh, different pigments. I've got all of these different pigments here. So we've got our green, yellow, and red sort of pigments and they cool a little bit and they kind of look like little light lens things. So that's that. That's how these things went together. I crammed these out in a couple of days and they are getting shipped out in about two minutes. Thank you for watching my little how-to on how I made these ankle cuffs. Um, I will be doing tons and tons more how-to type things, make sure you go and subscribe down below. And uh, if you have questions about my build, let me know on Twitter at Chinbeer or on Facebook at facebook.com slash punishprobs.